The Israeli government passed a budget yesterday. Um, this was really important in terms of helping the coalition continue. Um, as expected, <clears throat> a lot of the Haredi parties, ultra orthodox parties, got significant sums of money um, for personal use to use among their institutions. There were major protests outside of the Knesset, uh, the parliament, where people are protesting that the ultra orthodox people don't deserve so much money. Um, I think it's a little ironic in the previous government with <clears throat> Naftali Bennett and some of the Arab parties, 50 billion shekels were given to the Arab parties with none being given to ultra-Orthodox parties. This is the reality of a coalition. If you're part of the coalition, you get the benefits of the coalition. Why <clears throat> are they upset now? They're not part of the coalition and the ultra-Orthodox are getting the money that they rightfully should get. Eric Adams, the mayor from New York City, stated <clears throat> that he believes that Joe Biden is utterly responsible for the migrant crisis that is going on in the southern United States. Already 70,000 migrants have made their way to New York City, which will approximately cost $4.3 billion to New York City in the coming year. Um, he's very upset about this, although he supports Biden as pre for president in 2024. He said things have got to change. I believe the reason Biden has been so lax when it comes to the crisis, it really is a crisis at the border in southern United States, is because he's trying to do everything to be the opposite of Donald Trump. Donald Trump had a great idea to build a wall. Um, it's a lot of problems that are caused because uh, when migrants come in, they take the jobs of people that are American citizens. I think Biden just wants to differentiate himself from Trump. Hayden Manning was awarded an Emmy to add to his career achievements um, as analyst on Monday Night Football. Um, it, he beat out the likes of Chris Collinsworth and his own brother, Eli Manning. His brother, Eli Manning, took a, took a shot at his older brother. He said that he doesn't know how someone who just basically analyzes and tells coaches when they should be taking timeouts deserves an Emmy. Um, I think there's a little bit of bad blood between the brothers, even though supposedly they love each other. Uh, Peyton Manning was an underachiever in his career, obviously more talented than Eli Manning. He only won two championships, barely won a second one at the end. Eli Manning was a, a huge overachiever, played more than his potential, led the Giants in two historic Super Bowls. Uh, the competition is still brewing between these brothers as they are co-hosts of the Monday Night Football, uh, their Monday Night Football show, and I think Eli Manning is a little sour grapes. Apple has recently announced that they've told their workers not to use artificial intelligence because it might give away coding. Uh, what's significant about this is that Apple is a little late to the artificial intelligence party. Um, they have not developed artificial intelligence like Google with Bard and <clears throat> Microsoft incorporating into their search engine Bing, uh, ChatGPT. Uh, Apple really started the artificial intelligence resurgence or at least the advance of artificial intelligence when they introduced uh, Siri uh, about 12 years ago. Everyone thought Apple would be ahead. The problem by Apple is that they don't have enough data collected from their web browser. Safari is a weak web browser. Um, it's in third place after Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. Um, I think Apple, it hurts them a lot to have a weak web browser like Safari. I've used Safari. It's vastly inferior to the top web browsers. Jeff Bezos officially got engaged to his longtime girlfriend, Lauren Sanchez. Um, they've been dating for about four plus years now. Uh, Bezos left his original wife, got divorced after it was uncovered that he was having an affair with this woman, Lauren Sanchez, who was his next door neighbor. Uh, Lauren Sanchez is a media personality. She's a lot younger than Jeff Bezos. Um, I don't know if it's true, but a lot of women marry money for their wealth and Jeff Bezos is one of the richest people in the world. Um, I will say this, if you marry someone because of their wealth, I almost feel bad for the person who's wealthy because usually the woman is marrying you for your money. They're not marrying you, they're marrying your money just to get access to unlimited resources and buy whatever they want. Um, in marriage, even though really women want love and men want respect, men should also want to feel love, not that they're, just their money is loved.